All right, hello everyone. So recently, uh, there was a big old bundle, you may have seen it, uh, $5 for like 500 games in support of uh, the Black Lives Matter and all the uh, all the protests going on. Uh, whatever you think of the ideology or the the stuff behind it, five bucks for 500 games is a hard deal to pass up. And so here we are. I figured I'd go through with some of them, play them for your amusement, and see if maybe some of them are worth your time. Maybe they're diamonds in the rough. Uh, we're starting with a game called Overland, which is supposedly a survival simulator of some kind. Um, obviously, I have not played it, and I'm going into this blind. Um, I would like to mention uh, there is... A couple of accessibility options that I have not seen before in other games, and I want to point out because I actually do think it's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly there is this dyslexic font option, which um, I'm not going to play with because I personally am not dyslexic, so I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess I'll... Okay. Uh, I guess we'll turn it on just for the good of the, sh of the show. Um, is there any anybody who is dyslexic here that maybe tells me if this is... Like, putting extra space between the letters does help? Because if that's a thing, then that's cool. Uh, I, I did not know that, and I learned something today. If not, you know, I'm not going to do it because, like I said, I'm not dyslexic, so I don't have a need. Um, now that I've completely embarrassed myself, let's start a new game. It appears to burr at me every time I click on something. Day one, dawn. I appear to be a faceless old man. My name is Earl. Classically trained penis keeps getting rocks in his shoe. I am told to escape by someone named Alva. Uh, okay. So we got kind of an XCOM thing going on here. Is that like my time gauge at the top there? Or my movement ability? Like, there's This gas can seems important. You'll find someone else. We'll pick up that gas can. Contains three fuel. Backpack adds one of inventory slot. Starting party. Okay. Um. End my turn. Oh, those are monsters. Search. Oh, I have a lot of gas now. Okay. I guess we'll have to get to the, uh, Uh, I guess we're having to run now. I don't have the movement to get in, so... End of my turn. Just need the gas. Fill up? Oh, okay. Get in. I didn't have the movement to do it before. Turn on. And turn. Oh, well. Escape. I tried to save you. Not much of a tutorial, but, um. Oh, well, there's a monster and there's a person. How do I... Oh, okay. Hi. Invite. I'm Eve. I don't know what those monsters can do, so let's just get in. Oh. Uh, in turn. Because he's got to get in. I have to right click the car, okay. Escape! Okay, um, the controls are not super intuitive, but you know, you can click on things and you have to right click to take control. 
We have completed the introduction, therefore we continue. So we appear to be going from east coast to west coast. Sure glad you found me back there. Sure thing. Feeling good about the new car. Shame about Alba. I'm, you're not even going to mention them, are you? Um, let's see if we can pick a person up. Kill the puppy. Invite. We have a doggo now. You look like an Oakley. Switch to Earl, have him get in. He's got a bunch of, like, hang on, how do I. I want to. Like, look at his character sheet. Stubborn. Uses all actions even while injured. Aggressive. Don't mess with his pup. Friendly. Likes pats. Okay. Get in. Fill up. Can you get... Oh, God. Okay. Get in the car. That's my alarm going off. Get in the car. We killed one! <laughs> With a <the> car! <laughs> that was kind of inefficient, honestly. I could have probably done that better. What a day. We got a hat. And hats are important. This game has hats, therefore it is great. I do believe you can also pet the dog, so that's a good one there. Better check the map. Where do we go next? Okay. Old info, but I hear there's good supplies here. This gas station looks dangerous. It's like... Hmm. Let's go a little dangerous. I did no.
Can you pick it up? Yes. That's amazing, and I love it. We found more gas. Can I see inside? No? Okay. Oh, that's a lot of creatures. Oh, God. Um, we may just want to, like, GTFO. How much, how much is in the... The, guard, the car's got, like, nut, five fuel. Can he fill up? Can we drop? Yes. Okay. Dropping is a free action. Can give him a... Give him... A, yes! You can pet the dog! Oh. That's a generator. Okay. Or no. Get... Get in the car. Fill up. Get in. Get in the car. Just get in the car. Turn on. Floor it. Okay. Well, that actually went reasonably well. Like, the monsters kind of killed themselves for me, which was kind of nice. I suppose there's some traders up in Gun Lake. It's going to be dangerous, but I bet we can find a new car here. Uh, let's deal with the traders. I'm not sure if we need to worry about a car right now. Because we've got ours. Like, we've got a decent car. Seems pretty... pretty quiet. Trade. Let's give me the first aid kit. I don't know, this could be useful. There's an old beer bottle. He's gonna go get that shtick. Puppy like stick. Alright. Um yeah, I'm not interested in uh, in trading away my first aid kit, so... Pick up stick. Stick is good thing. Get in the car. Puppy. Get in the car. <laughs> we smashed the bottle on our way out. That's kind of cool. Funny. Looks like the road's blocked and we'll have to clear it. Well, we have no other option, so... Oh. It's 
lot of monsters. That is some creepy ass music. I'm being a little quiet here, but. And we can get out! Alright, we made it past our first blockade. Um, I honestly don't know if there's a way to kill those creatures, maybe by pouring some gasoline on them, but. Huh. We're now in the woodlands, which I'm going to assume. Shit's going to get harder at this point. Oh, what the fuck is that Cazador looking motherfucker back there? Did you guys see that shit? Finally. I was pretty worried back there. Yeah, I was worrying. Me too. This home. Same here. Well, you can't go home again. Maybe I should try to find some weapons or something. That's a lot of choices. Haunted gas station. Perfect. Looks dangerous. Check on Grove for supplies. I heard a rumor about some useful supplies here. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm honestly not sure if, like, anything but that is, like...
Back it up. Just back it up. Quit switching characters. I'm trying to drive backwards. Oh, it's like a carrying rack. Okay. I don't know what that is. We can apparently search that? Okay. <sighs> search it. We got, is that a knife? Oh, it's a knife. Appears to be a flare. Oh shit, I'm out of actions. Oh, she's gonna take a damage. She can do a thing. Can he can he turn on the car? He cannot turn on the car. Okay, butt in here. Okay, um, that was our first real taste of combat, so it doesn't look like you can ever fully clear a map. You can only really, like, buy yourself some time. I'm not going to make it to the next stop. got to pull over. Oh, no. Well, um, it was nice knowing everyone, and uh, I will see you all in uh, in therapy. Oh wait, I can just kill them. Never mind. Kill the fuckers! Yeah. It looks like as long as you, like, get the drop on them. too. Switch to him. Switch to, 
Get in the car. Pull her into the car. Car is going to explode. You know what? Let's end our first run spectacularly with everything exploding. game after this because this is actually kind of an interesting game, but uh, I, I do believe that this is probably a game over. Are they fighting each other? They appear to be fighting each other. So, um, I think we've learned some object lessons here. And that being, don't run out of gas. No, I do not want to restart that level. That level was a fucking shit show. Alright, well, that has been, uh, 31, or, not 31. Why did I say 31? That has been 30 minutes. And, uh, yeah, that is Outland. Um, uh, seems to be quite interesting. It's, uh, quite tactical. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd give it a play. If you can find it, I don't know where you'd find it. I got it on itch.io. Uh, if you can find it, the game is called Outland. It's got this art style. I recommend it. It's actually quite fun. Uh, thank you very much, and I will see you guys tomorrow.